because it's an orange utang. Yeah. <laughs> right, go on, go on, enjoy your joke, enjoy yourself. Uh, if you're laughing the other side of your face when you see who was in the Fool's Panel. In the Fool's Panel. Oh, right. see for yourself, yeah. front page. Prominent member of the Fool's Panel. Ex-captain of the Glasgow Rangers, George Young. <laughs> the dusty big the judge. Oh, he's been nobbled. He's <laughs> been nobbled. <laughs> I demand the saliva test. I demand the saliva test. Ah, excuses, excuses. Ah, big George always knew a good away win when he saw one. I went to the wait after Whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> the lights will take this bad. Big oh, George was his idol. Yeah, but, used to be his mascot. Mascot. <laughs> yeah. Carky Young, you rue the day You took the self to win away I swear upon my fairer sash That I will get my rightful cash I'll follow you by train and taxi You can stick your profit up your jumper <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, will it, Twanky oh. I did you make a little pantomime dame Villain, come what you like <laughs> Pantomime dame, villain Oh, what's this villain young, that's... <laughs> oh. Hey, how are you going to do that, mate? Like? He'll fly out in the six and gold broomstick. <laughs> He's a witty bee, isn't he, that, isn't he? <laughs> hey, where's the phone book? Over there. What, what do you want that for, Lex? I'm going to phone up Bigwood's pools and get Big Young taken off the panel and demand our five shilling stake money back on the count of it being a carve-up. <laughs> Yeah. I wish we'd done the treble chance this week. Aye, there's only eight draws in the coupon. Aye. Oh, that should mean about a £350,000 payout. Hey, Lex, what would you do if you won £350,000? What would I do? I'd buy Parkhead and run the blue trains through it. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Hill. Yes, Mr. Alexander. I'm just popping out to the bank now. I have a lot to arrange this afternoon. Is it true there's just one winning line on the treble chance? Yes, thank heavens. All these small payouts are no good for Big Wood's image. Oh, and who's the lucky winner? Oh, an Edinburgh syndicate in the name of a Mr. Murphy. Two of them are coming in to see me this afternoon. Is there some kind of trouble? Well, they don't want any publicity. But we've had so few big winners recently, we need all the publicity we can get. So you're going to talk them into a big champagne reception and a front page story, just like the old days? Exactly. I've arranged a central hotel, three o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and guess what? What? George Young's presenting the cheque. So do be nice if the syndicate arrives before I get back. Right you are, Mr. Alexander. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. What a place, Lex. <laughs> Imagine this place built with just a few fitbo results. <laughs> Wouldn't you mind playing away from home with that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fanny. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? I've called on behalf of a small syndicate to see your heat bummer about our money. My heat bum? Yes. <laughs> the manager, what about? Uh, the money is due to us. We tried to contact them today or any but got hee-haw satisfaction. Syndicate? Mm -hmm. Are you Mr. Murphy? No, I'm Mr. McLean. I just live with Mrs. Murphy. Oh. <laughs> well, of course, your domestic arrangements are none of my business. How correct you are. <laughs> now, I have all the details here, but please do sit down. Oh, oh. who's been sleeping in my pony? Actually, yes. I'm afraid I've got a memory like a hen. My boss makes me take everything down. <laughs> <laughs> Does he? <laughs> oh, yes. Mr. Alexander is familiar with my weak spot. <laughs> Lucky Mr. Alexander. <laughs> I wonder if it's Tom or Jack. <laughs> Well, now, no. how is Edinburgh these days? How is Edinburgh? <laughs> Same as usual, I suppose. Full of God's frozen people. <laughs> 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 now, I'll ask you one. Oh. When can we see Big Young? Oh, Mr. Alexander will be delighted that you want to meet Mr. Young. <laughs> He's arranged a special reception for tomorrow. There's such a lot of sorting out. Look, I want to sort this Big Young myself. <laughs> Mr. Young? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, but it can't be done before tomorrow. Why not? Is it Lent or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. But actually, there's a big affair and there's a lot of arranging to do. Uh, and, and, and where does all this happen? Central Hotel, three o'clock. Uh-huh. The Central Hotel. All nights I've never been there. Can I go to the Central Hotel? No, it's above your station. <laughs> of course he can come if he's one of the syndicates. The more, the merrier. Yes. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you this. <laughs> but we in big nights, we in big nights, we need all the exposure we can get. <laughs> Exposure? <laughs> well, you're not letting the film down. <laughs> uh, will, will you be there tomorrow? Oh, yes, of course. Well, that's fine. We'll see you young then, but we'll have our money in the meantime. Oh, no, but you see, that's the whole point. George Young is going to give you the money personally. Oh, oh yeah. Lex, you must put the fear of death into them. Uh-huh. Do you mean Young's going to present me with the five shillings in person? Five shillings? Uh-huh. <laughs> and they said Edinburgh folk had no sense of humour. <laughs> Mrs. to live in Edinburgh you've got to have a sense of humour <laughs> <laughs> are you sitting in a feather or something <laughs> something tickling your fancy <laughs> oh, five shillings oh that's rich <laughs> well we have not so come on how about it <laughs> do excuse me but I think you can count on a wee bit more than five shillings. Oh, we're going to get travelling expenses. <laughs> Wait, we walked here. Well, I know, but we haven't tear of the hush puppies like that or something. Uh, have you any idea how much bees and honey will get? Bees and honey? Gene Tunney, the money. Uh, well, I haven't been told yet, but I can say this. Yes. It will be a pleasure for Big Woods to pay out in thousands again. Thousands? thousands. Mm-hmm. You'd think you'd what? cut your mouth in a bottle or something. Five <laughs> <laughs> thousands, like, we only put on a can of a line. Shh, bunch of stumers here, you. I think I've got them worried. Well, we'll call back tomorrow. Yes, would that be all right with you, Miss... Uh, uh, well, he, won't you wait and make arrangements with Mr. Alexander? Well, one or two arrangements are for all to me. Yes. Oh, you can take me into your confidence. Look. <laughs> Once I get my hands in this money, I'll take you into a confidence, sir. Or anything else you... <laughs> anything else you fancy? <laughs> George Young, all the syndicate. That was George Young on the phone just now. His car broke down and he's had to hire another. He'll make it in time, all right. But what about the Murphy syndicate? Are you sure they'll turn up for all this? Yes, yes, they'll be here, all right, as long as they're allowed to wear eye masks to hide their identity. Oh, so they still insist on remaining anonymous. Well, the masks are a good gimmick, especially for Big Woods. I've got a man downstairs specially waiting to give them to the syndicate as soon as they arrive. But what about... That awful man, Mr. McLean, that I told you about. What if he and his mob show up? Don't be ridiculous. I don't see how you could have been taken in by them in the first place. They wouldn't dare show up here. Mm, Well, he was most persistent. Rubbish. There could be no confusion between the McLean scruff and the Murphy syndicate. They're a different class of people altogether. 